Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. A couple of Beaujolais here in front of me. Um, they have um, a reasonable amount in common. Uh, they are from Crew Villages, in other words, the top 10 um, bits of Beaujolais. Um, uh, they're both 2012, and they're both made by Burgundian Negociants, who have um, recently expanded into the Beaujolais region. Um, so um, the second one I'm going to do is from Henri Fessy, which belongs to Leo Latour these days. Uh, first one is from Bouchard Perry Fils, and it's their flurry. Give it a whirl. There's a gentle peppery character here um, alongside the, the the raspberry fruit, and um, the pepperiness. Uh, I sometimes get pepperiness in, um, in 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 Beaujolais. It's not uncommon. Um, one of the difficulties in 2012 was that um, there was quite a lot of rain around at the time of harvest, and sometimes uh, the pepperiness was uh, it produced when people maybe picked that fruit a little bit too early, and it got on that little slightly stalky side. Let's see whether that's happened here, because uh, otherwise the, the fruit smell the fruit smells quite nice and juicy and crunchy. Typical Beaujolais. But um, let's see how they coped in 2012. And I think they did okay. There is a little bit of um, that stalkiness that comes through. Um, you know, when you get um, a, a bunch, a bit of fruit, and uh, it's one of those uh, either a berry or something like a black currant or a blueberry at the bottom of the um, the pannier, and, and it's got that just that little bit of rot on it. I'm just wondering whether there's a, a hint of that going on here. Um, good. Um, it's not the greatest of vintages. I'm not going to jump up and say it's great. Um, I would probably have a second glass of it. Let's see whether we can say something better for the second one. So this is Henri Fessy Brewery 2012 again, and give it a whirl. Don't get any of the, the peppery character here. I'm just having a look at the difference in alcohol. Um, the first one's 12.5%, and the second one is 13%. Um, and uh, this, the second one smells that slightly richer, uh, more on the cherries and, uh, than the red berries I was getting in the, in, in the Bouchard. Um, and um, there is a slightly uh, almost medicinal note in there, herbal you could call it, but um, it feels like it's going to be a, a stouter wine. Uh, and um, well, it, it, smell, it smells better. It's bigger, richer, fleshier, um, feels cleaner. Uh, but also firmer wine. Brewery is, um, um, it, 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 some people talk about like, oh yeah, the, there's the little crew, the ones that are quite light and uh, um, and are for drinking soon. And then there are those big stern ones, Morgan and Moulin Avant, uh, at the top of the stern and sturdy tree. Brewery is not far behind. And so, yeah, I get this uh, whack of tannin that's coming through there uh, and earthiness that is of the soil rather than uh, of anything that's gone that slightly uh, dodgy green way. Um, and so uh, the Bouchard Perifis is the one that uh, maybe I'll be drinking now. Uh, the, uh, the, the brewery from Fessy, uh, for me, a wine that's got, first of all, a higher class wine, uh, but also it's got the, uh, the matière to, to go on for quite a bit longer. So um, next year, maybe even a couple of years after that, uh, I think it'll still be going strong and maybe developing a little bit of the Pinot Noir-like gaminess. But um, it's, it's looking pretty good today. See you soon.